Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video is going to be about some discus stuff. All my discus videos seem to do better than anything else, so I thought I'd concentrate another one on them. And today I wanted to talk a bit about feeding, because it's a question I get quite a lot on my Facebook group, and it's something that's always discussed quite a lot. Um, so if you've got a tropical tank, you might be used to feeding things like flakes or pellets or freeze-dried foods like black worms or maybe frozen foods, whether that be frozen blood worms or things like that. But in this case, groups, you will hear lots of talk about beef heart. Uh, and beef heart is essentially the heart of a cow. It's ground up and minced, all the fatty stuff's cut away, uh, and it's mixed with some vegetables, some minerals. Everyone has a different uh, recipe. Uh, but essentially, you're trying to go for a really high protein uh, food that you can give to your discus to help them grow really well. And it's, it's kind of a staple diet. Um, for all the the discus keepers out there and that's not necessarily mean you have to use that and there's plenty of people who don't feed beef heart um, but if you're interested in it there's a video here somewhere that will show you my beef heart recipe and how I make it sometimes you use pork hearts um, and pig hearts rather because they're a bit leaner um, but check that out if you're interested in that otherwise check out some reputable dealers online if you're in the UK the kind of number one go-to uh, beef heart recipe or beef heart supplier is Chen's Discus. You can get Dayton Chen's beef heart mix. It's really good. It's the food of champions. Um, I've used it in the past. I know many people who have used it with great results. But lots of people like to make their own food, so there's nothing wrong with that. Um, if you want to make your own food, check out my recipe, check out someone else's recipe, have a go at it and see how you go on. The important thing to make sure is that you're uh, cutting away all the fat and you're, you're only feeding the meat. But if you're not interested in making your own food, and I know lots of people aren't because it is a proper faff and it can be a right pain in the meep. So in general, if you're feeding frozen foods, you're going to be looking at things like these blister packs. Uh, and I'm, I'm generally not a fan of uh, blood worms for feeding discus. Um, if you can, I'd go for the gamma ones because they tend to have a better reputation, but blood worms in general just don't really have much of a nutritional value for a discus. They've just not got anything in it. But I do think they are useful if you have a fish that's reluctant to eat or just not showing any interest. You get to meet a fish that will ignore blood worms unless it's really, really sick. So often I'll feed blood worms uh, to get them interested and get them going and then throw in some beef heart or some pellets or something else that's got a bit more um, substance to it. I've recently found these, uh, again I'm not really a fan of blister pack foods but I've recently come across these and think they're actually pretty good. The fish seem to like them. Um, what I would say is, if you're going to start using frozen foods, especially lots of the things you'll see on eBay and Amazon where it's blister packs, it's kind of 80% water, 20% actual food. So take out one of the cubes, put it on a paper towel, leave it for half an hour, come back and see what you've got left. If you've just got a big wet paper towel, that's a crap food. If you've got a decent amount of food in there, at least you know you're getting something to it. Um, as well for the blood worms, things that get the appetite going are uh, garlic based foods. So if you've chop up some extra garlic in a beef heart mix or something like that, that will usually stimulate the appetite. And strangely enough, orange and lemon peels. I've heard stories, or I've seen videos at least, of people putting uh, citrus peels, floating them in the tank for 12 hours, 24 hours, and they claim that it keeps them going. But I've never had, I've never had need to do that myself, so I've never tested it. But, you know, if you're struggling, you might come across that. Um, so that's your frozen foods, you've got your, your dry foods, are usually things like your Vitalis discus pellets, love these things, these are really um, good, the fish all like them, you can see them coming up to the side here because they know they're getting food out. Uh, I don't have the proper packaging but these, uh, what used to be called uh, Tetra Prima granules, which are now called discus granules or something like that. They are good as well, the fish really like these. You just have to be careful with these and foods like this that either have a high krill content or a high anthaxin, I think it is, is the, the chemical compound. Because it's 
effectively going to act as a red dye. So if you have white fish or yellow fish, feed too much of this and you will have kind of orange fish rather than what you want. Um, but there are various pellets and things that you'll find that are designed for cichlids. I mean, I'm not here to tell you how to suck eggs, but if you try something and it works for you and your fish are putting on good weight, that's great. Um, stick with it. Uh, I like beef heart. I think it's good. Lots of people out there on the internet will tell you it's terrible, it's too fatty, it's too this, it's too that, it's too the other. Um, but the guys who are breeding these fish, certainly in this country anyway, I don't know about the rest of the world, but the guys who are breeding these fish and taking them to shows and winning shows are feeding beef heart and they're producing show winners. Um, so that's a kind of good enough for me and I've always had good results from it over the past five years or whatever it is that I've been using it. I think one of the biggest misconceptions is how to feed your fish. Um, especially if you have smaller discus, you really need to be feeding a lot. So that's often and little, little and often. It could be five times a day, it could be more. Um, generally when you've got your little if you're, certainly if you're breeding fish and you've got babies, you want to be dropping every couple of hours, dropping in some brine chimp uh, to keep them happy. And it's the kind of two and a half inch fish, four or five times a day is a good uh, number to aim at. But even when you're getting up to your three or four inch fish, I'm trying to feed them at least three times a day. Um, you'll hear people advising you quite often to make sure you feed enough, or when you ask how much should I feed, We'll say things like feed enough that the fish will eat it all within 10 minutes. And, you know, I think that's nonsense because I don't know whether it's just me, but these fish will graze. I'll put food in there, an hour later it'll still be there. But another hour, it'll be gone. They do eat it, they do pick at it. I've got a little webcam focused on this tank as well as my other tanks and I can watch them from my mobile phone wherever I am because I am that sad. But I'll feed them and check the camera two hours later and they'll still be picking at it and um, so again do what works for you I'm not here to tell you what to do and just give you ideas but I like to feed little often regular um, and I'm, I'm not afraid to let it sit there I mean if it's still there five six hours later then yes by all means vacuum it out and something going on there you've gone way over the score um, but certainly a lot more than you think as well. So you saw me there do a little pinch of tetra granules. That's nothing. I'll do. Um, what have I got in here? About 16 fish. If I had a, a handful of granules like that, I might chuck in two of them. So I hope you found some of that useful. If you've got any questions, please leave them below. Uh, always remember check out the links in the description to some of these products that I've been talking about as well as my Instagram, Twitter, Patreon, all those things. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you would mind because it's a big help to me and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, to Hi folks, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some more discus stuff. Everyone seems to love my discus videos. No, they don't. What's going on there? That's alright. So you might be used to feeling... Uh, if you can, I go for the Gamma branded ones rather than the, the generic or the Tropic Marin or whatever they might be. No, these are Tropic. Whatever. 